You're listening to Web on the Web, the Wow Network. <laughs> The first divisional basketball game is on the docket tonight. Here from the Lee Athletic Center, the DCA Wildcats roll into town with a very impressive record, matched by the Spartans as well. The rivalry is not the only thing between these two teams. Last season, it was DCA who knocked the men in green out of the state tournament. Needless to say, there is blood between the two squads, and it will be passionate tonight on the court. From the Lee Athletic Center, I'm Andrew Robinson with my partners James Moon and Alex Lansing and you are watching Web on the Web, the WOW Network as we bring you Spartan Athletics live on the internet. Fans, we want to remind you that this uh, broadcast is sponsored by Duo Fast of Knoxville for all your nailing, stapling and fasting needs and the Shrimp Dock of Beard and Farragut with its wide variety of fresh seafood, fresh seafood made daily, all the yummy for the tummy. Guys, uh, you know, with basketball uh, tonight and exams right around the corner, a lot to look, uh, look forward to. But we do need to take a moment and send our condolences to those mourning in Connecticut tonight after the, uh, after the tragedy of the elementary school shooting. Uh, even though we're not close to that area, it sure affected us here at school. It affects our country, and we would like to recognize them tonight. But we do have to move on, and tonight there's a very impressive uh, DCA team that comes to town. James, I'll start with you first. And it's uh, started off with Carson Outlaw, number 22, the guard. And he's carried this DCA team on. Uh, as I mentioned, knocked him out of the playoffs last year. What are they going to have to do tonight to keep that, uh, to keep that win streak alive? Well, DCA is a very good team. They're coming in 8-1. Uh, they're coming off a big win against the University School of Nashville, 76-48. to And uh, Webb's going to have to play good defense on, on the Outlaw, the guard. And we'll, we'll see what the Spartans do defensively to stop him tonight. And, uh, of course, Webb coming off a big win against CAK on Tuesday night. So, first division game. These guys are ready to get a little revenge tonight. Alex, you know that CAK game had a lot of positives and some negatives, but one of the big positives was the defensive effort. It's been there all season, and especially against the Warriors uh, last or th earlier this week, only giving up under 25 points. A pretty phenomenal effort from that squad. Absolutely, and I expect nothing less from the Spartans tonight than – uh, other than absolutely outstanding defense, DCA just looking for warmups looks like to be looks to be a very quality team. And if the Spartans can stay out of foul trouble and maintain their style of play, then they should be fine in this game. And uh, you know, a big player for the Spartans, James, it's Burton Sampson, the senior. He showed up big with 16 points la uh, against CAK. Justin Jenkins had 17 to lead the way for uh, for the Spartans. Those two guys are going to have to step up big tonight again to get this win. Yeah, Burton had a great game last night, or on Tuesday night against the Warriors, and uh, he helped us come out big. Uh, Spartans have not been able to shoot well in some games of late, so let's see how the Spartans can do shooting-wise, but we always know we'll have Burton to bail us out down low if we can't get it, the stroke from beyond the arc. But, Alex, if that stroke does start to fall, it, it's going to be a good night here at the Lee Athletic Center for the Spartans, won't it? Absolutely it will. I look forward to it. So that is our little pregame show here, the Shrimp Dog pregame show. A very special ceremony will commence here in a few minutes. We haven't been aware of what exactly it is, but it will be special here from the Lee Athletic Center in a couple of minutes. We're going to take a quick commercial break and head back out to our, uh, our little spot here to broadcast the ball game. When we come back, we'll have the special ceremony and uh, analysis and uh, play the plan analysis tonight's game. You'll listen to Web on the Web, the WOW Network. You're listening to Web on the Web, the WOW Network.
Welcome back Spartan fans to the Lee Athletic Center as Burton Sampson was just honored here at midcourt. Last, uh, last game against CAK, he surpassed the 1,000 point mark and enters a very prestigious club here for the Spartans. Yeah, that's great to see with Burton, obviously a player who's contributed all four years. He's been, all four years he's been here and it's showing off and joining the 1,000 point club and uh, congratulations to Burton and we expect to see a lot more. It's early in the season and he's already got 1,000 points. Absolutely. That's a good accomplishment. You know, it's, good. It's, it's no accident that he hit 1,000 points. The work he puts in both during the season and when he's not in the season is absolutely outstanding. He's truly a great role model for these younger basketball players to follow in suit. Indeed, indeed. So we will now get to the starting lineups here for DCA first at number number two, Joshua Joy. Number 12, Clay Hurdle. Number 22, Carson Outlaw. He is their go-to guy uh, on the offensive end. Number 24, Jake Singer. And number 52, D. Ewing. And for the Spartans, much of the same. Brandon Neighbors, Justin Jenkins, Austin Cox, Burton Sampson, and Troy White. Look for Neighbors to draw the matchup with Al with uh, Outlaw tonight. I kind of caught a peek at Coach Norris's clipboard, and it had Brandon guarding number 22, and that is Outlaw, the player of the watch for the for DCA tonight. So basketball is on the docket. We are ready to go here from the Lee Athletic Center, both teams at midcourt. And the clock has been set for eight minutes, so we are just about ready for tip-off. DCA breaks their huddle. Webb ready to tip it off in a big rivalry game and a mm -hmm. key, key first game. If you always want to start out your league play right, and this will be a great win for the Spartans. Just one thing looking at the DCA bench real quick. Doesn't look like a whole lot of depth to us as what, from what I can tell. So look for the Spartans to use their depth tonight as an advantage and use the bench willingly. As for the Spartans' depth, I've been talking with one of their six-man, Kevin Gormley, who's been battling the flu lately. We'll see how many minutes he gets tonight. And very quickly, DCA opens up with a three. They save it, a little scrappiness, and now the Wildcats will set up with Joshua Joy. He's guarded out front by Troy Whiteside. You know, a major factor we've seen these past couple of games from the Spartans and the other teams is games being decided off a of second chance rebounds. As you see DCA getting one there, and just like that, there's number 12, Clay Hurdle capitalizing on a second chance bucket. So Hurdle takes Cox to the basket and scores the opening points of the game. It's a quick 2 0 lead for DCA. Whiteside working on Hurdle. He'll get a screen from Cox, kick out the neighbors. He's open for three, open. takes it. In and out, and a rebound by the point guard, Joshua Joy. And again, the woes from the three-point strike the Spartans again. DCA going to fire a deep three. That's Clay Hurdle again missing. And big number 52, D. Ewan, gets the rebound and finds a cutting Joshua Joy. Just a the good off-ball cut, and the defense wasn't there. Another second-chance rebound, but I agree, great off-ball cut. Troy Whiteside presses the ball quickly and gets it to Brandon Neighbors. Back out to Whiteside where he will set up the offense. Important possession here for the Spartans. Already down 4 nothing here early. Like to get a basket. Jenkins gets a screen from Cox. Tries to drive inside. Double teamed. Goes up with it mm -hmm. anyway. And he missed that one badly. And the That's rebound just an off shot. He's got to get a better look. Probably not the shot they were looking for, James. And so here come the Wildcats. Already up 4 to nothing early. A little bit of confusion. It's going to be Joshua Joy, the point guard, to reset. He'll kick it over to Jake Singer. Ball swung around to Joy again. And he's going to get a screen from Ewan. Still nothing doing. There's a jump shot by number 22. That's mm. Carson Outlaw. And that basket is good. It's 6 to nothing. Yeah. They're going to run into the press. Good Webb press breaks it with ease. Sampson now with it. We're going to get those up and the basket. Beautiful play, good vision, great ball movement. Both teams looking composed so far throughout the game. If the Spartans can continue these fast break finishes, then they should be, then the outlet should be fine to counter uh, Davidson's excellent shooting game. So the Wildcats scored six unanswered quickly, and now Burton Sampson completes a three point play. And it is a six to three ball game now. Webb in somewhat of a press. Mm -hmm. They're going to play that. Full trap, full court trap. Try to get some turnovers tonight. They did not play this against CAK. Clay Hurdle breaks it with ease, and now to Joshua Joy. Joy inside nice pass broken play up by nice. Justin. But DCA going to keep it alive, and Joy going to reset. The Web Home Soon section tonight refusing not to let up as they are just as loud and just as big as ever. DCA with it. It's Joy on the left side. Ewan. 
the big fella He's out He's a big front. guy. He looks pretty strong. Watch that matchup with Ewing and Jenkins throughout the game. Screen. Nothing there. Here come the Wildcats now. They're going to try to get something going. Almost 35 seconds with the ball. Samson tries to come up with a steal, and Joshua Joy resets again. So they can't penetrate this web. Tight man. Still with the ball. Neighbors on Joy. He'll dump it off. There's a drop there. Loose ball. And it's going to be Burton Samson. Webb with a three on one. White side to Samson. Went for the alley <laughs> a little bit far, but Samson corrals and scores. Beautiful hey, teamwork. Their completion percentage on those fast break opportunities is uncanny this season. Six to five. The kick out to Joy. He's open. Wide open. Three, and he got Money. it. Can't give him that. Joshua Joy. Webb. Finds Cox streaking down the sideline. He'll take it to the rack. It goes up. Oh. Cox the one in foul trouble the last game against CAK. Good to see his aggressiveness hasn't faltered any throughout the week. And it's going to be a foul on the floor. Yeah, they're going to call it before he was in the act of shooting. And Jenkins inbound. Justin Jenkins. Samson receives a pass. Inside, they're trying to get that alley Yeah, they're going. Gonna they're going to use the height advantage Burton has. He has a clear advantage down low tonight. Look for him to have a big game tonight. Burton Samson scoring all seven of the Spartans' points so far tonight. Seven to nine. The 1,000-point leader adds seven more to his total here early. 4.13 to go. It's DCA nine, Webb seven. Spartans coming out in an aggressive man. Their hustle and their agility throughout the season has been tested, and they have exceeded all expectations. So I've got no question in my mind that the Spartans won't be outcompeted tonight. Joy. Wildcats trying to use a little motion offense down here. Joy looking for something. Tries to get a screen. He's going to dump it off to number 12, Hurdle. Hurdle to Outlaw. And Troy Whiteside playing great defense on Outlaw. Pass. Mm. They're going to oh, say he kicked kick. it. It looked like it hit off his leg. Yeah. I don't know about that. I didn't see that one. And now, James, as you said, DCA coming out with a little pick and pop offense off the perimeter as they're rolling Ewing down low, trying to look for a little slip and go. And so far, it seems to be working as they've been getting the offensive rebounds, and they're currently leading by two. Coach Norris did not like that call. He thought it was off Austin's leg as well. And DCA... Looks a little sloppy here after a very quick start. Still has a 9-7 lead. Joy looking for a screen from Ewan. He'll take Whiteside to the hoop. And, the foul. and they're going to call a foul. In the act of shooting, he'll go to the line for two. Yeah, DCA is going to get a chance for two shots right here, but uh, DCA quickly got ahead, and the Spartans tried to use their, their intense uh, pressure defense with the full court trap, and it looks like it's working. It's doing a better job than how they started. Troy Whiteside picks up the foul. And Austin Cox back to the scorer's table within 15 seconds of coming out. Yeah, Liam Willoughby came and got him, and he's going to get, get Troy. But I think it's important for Coach Norris to get everyone he plans on playing tonight in the game early and get them assimilated to DCA style of play so they're not surprised when they come in in crucial moments in the second half. And Joy, perfect from the line. He improves the lead to 11-7. To nice Webb. press break. With ease, Willoughby. Goes up. He's fouled oh. by Ewan. Can't get the basket. A nice pump fake. Yeah, Outlaw went flying by, and Ewan fouled him on the way up. Good job to use that dribble. Uh, sometimes the player will rush that shot, but he knew that he was a little off balance. Took the pump fake and got the uh, got the foul. Yeah, heads up play by the sophomore. Also keep in mind, this is one of his few games this season as he was a football player. So it's good to see that he's adjusted back to the basketball mindset. Will as be. his first one rattles in and out. Misses. And also that's a good press the break. DCA is trying to give, give the Spartans some pressure. And the Spartans have done a good job so far of getting the ball across the timeline. Let's see if they keep continuing the pressure. Yeah, they're doing a good job of getting up to the second level and running from there as Willoughby hits that second one. So 11-8 to eight now the score. And again, DCA works past the web. Full court trap. And it's the point guard, Joy. Kicks it to Hurdle. Hurdle drives back out to Joy. He'll try to use his mismatch. Kick over to the corner. Three-pointer by Outlaws. No good. Good rebound. Rebound call, by foul. Sampson. Good call. And Outlaw got a little scrappy underneath and picks up his first foul. 
Webb to inbound, down by three, a chance to tie the game with a three-pointer on this possession. Cox gonna take Joy to Samson oh, underneath. Tipped. That's web ball. Both teams initiating a press style defense here early stages of the game. Webb appears to be doing a much better job of taking advantage of it and finding the seams and scoring the easy buckets off the fast break opportunities they create for themselves. Burton Sampson looking for Willoughby and missed him and DCA gets the turnover. Driving to the basket is number 24. Singer kind of throws it back out hoping one of his guys was out there. And that's number 12. That's Hurdle taking Jenkins to the basket. And that was a great defensive stand right there by Samson. He took Outlaw down without fouling him, but he played him well enough so that he had to kick it back out. And then when Justin Jenkins got beat, Burton slid over, helped, didn't pick up the foul, and prevented the basket. That's all you can ask for from the big guy. Going up inside is Warden. Foul. Misses the shot and a foul. It's going to go against DCA, and that will be number 54, Jaron Warden. Web so DCA using a presser, not guarding the inbounder, they're using an extra defender on the men that the inbounder can throw the ball to. Appears to be some confusion. Looks like number two, Joy, was looking for some sort Wide of open. trap. Burke yes. Sampson with Outlaw in his eyes, drains the three, and we are all square at 11. Expect to see that from him for throughout the night. He looks on tonight. Bird's on fire. He's already in double figures. Great defensive double team from Neighbors and Jenkins as they... I don't know, did they force the turnover? They did not, but still a great defensive stand on the fast break, shutting it down. So Joy's pass, he was double teamed, tried to get rid of it, knocked out of bounds, but DCA will remain in control of the basketball with two minutes to go. It's 11 to 11. All square here. Number four, Kevin Gormley looks to be checking in. That's good to see him. Outlaw to Joy. Joy drives to the basket, now pulls up in the short corner, no good. Rebound, Sampson. Webb going to try to push. Fast break. Justin Jenkins. Webb in a three on two to the basket. Nice Cut. pass by Justin. Oh, Dump just couldn't off. come Burton Sampson open Wide for open. three again. Oh. That one's going to miss and rebound by Outlaw. Good play there by Justin to get the pass to AC. Just couldn't handle the ball. DCA, a no look pass. Over to Singer and he'll reset to Joy. Passing it around the perimeter are the Wildcats. It's going to be number 12. That's Hurdle. Joy with it. He wants a screen from Warden, doesn't get it. And now kicks over to Outlaw, who's guarded tightly by Neighbors. Back to Joy. Looking for something inside. Liam will be playing denial defense. Joy drives to the basket again. Reverse layup mm -hmm. is good. It's a good looking move. Willoughby needs to slide a little quicker there on the help. 13 to 11, the Wildcats take a two point advantage. 50 seconds to go in the opening quarter of play. Neighbors. Controlling the ball across the timeline. Webb going to definitely set up in an offensive play here. Jenkins gets a screen from Sampson. Working on Outlaw. Kick out Cox. Drives baseline. Goes up on three. Kicks it out to Burton again. Short mm. corner jumper no good. Fight for the rebound and finally controlled by Singer. And, and Joy going to take it across for the Wildcats. Coach Norris yelling at his team to get back. He does not want to give these Wildcats three points off the fast break. As, as it looks like Cox is locking up on the point guard, Joy, this will be an interesting matchup. Uh, Samson appears to be, or excuse me, Neighbors is, is on outlaw as Joy is trying to take advantage of Cox. Loose ball. It's a steal. Well, two, Cox one. Ahead. He needs to get it up. He got it's it on. Up in oh, it's it. in. Count it. That's Beautiful a three play right point there. Is that going to be a three or was his foot on the line? Let's, they haven't signaled yet. Not, the referees are going to talk, referees about are talk about it here. Let's see what happens. They're counting the shot. And two. they're going to count as a two. His foot was on the line. That's what it looked like to me. That's I think a good call right by call. the officials. What a shot by Austin Cox. A floater. Great shot by Austin Cox. An even more line. outstanding play on the defensive front. I didn't think he was going to have enough time to get the ball no, he off. He, uh, the ball came loose with about 2.8 seconds left. Absolutely. They threw the ball. AC quickly got it up. Good awareness by Cox. Absolutely. Great and, clock uh, awareness. That, gives the that lets the Spartans tie it up here at the end of the first quarter. Huge play for the Spartans. Allows a tie to go to our first intermission. At the end of the first quarter, it's Webb 13, DCA 13. We're going to take a quick commercial break and listen to Webb on the Web, the WOW Network.
You're listening to Web on the Web, the Wow Network. <laughs> to the Lee Athletic Center, Webb and DCA all squares. We head into the second quarter. On the floor for the Spartans is Gormley, Willoughby, Sampson, Cox, and Neighbors. Kevin Gormley on the right side. Gets a screen from Willoughby, kicks it out to Austin Cox, who drives it into the basket. Yeah, and a good clear out by Liam Willoughby, providing a wide open layup. Great for clear Cox. out, great downhill penetration from Cox, and an even better hesitation and finish. Oh, trap! That's, oh! Wide open now. The out wall from the free throw line. Shot goes in and out, but an offensive rebound and put back by number 12. That's Clay Hurdle. It ended in buckets, but that was great defense on the trap. That was great split defense by Willoughby. Down low, splitting between the shooter and the man down low. Just fortunate play and a good play from DCA. Cox with it on the right side. He's going to get a screen from Sampson and from Willoughby. Dumps it off to Neighbors. He gives it to Burton Sampson. He'll Burton's got a nice size game. advantage right there. Yes, he does. Neighbors. Webb passing around the perimeter, looking for that baseline drive. Kick it out to Gormley. To Sampson in the corner. He's going to now get a screen from Willoughby again. A nice spin move to Willoughby dump off. He was oh, double teamed, yeah. kind of threw it up, couldn't reach the backboard, went right yeah, over. And Coach Norris isn't going to like that offensive possession. DCA with a chance to take the lead again. 15 all our score, 6.30 to go in this opening half. It's gonna be Singer now over to Joy. Gets a screen from Outlaw, back to Singer. Joy drives baseline, tries at least and denied by Brandon Neighbors. Good entry pass to Outlaw, back out to Singer. Who's open for three oh, and he wow. got it. Great ball movement there by the Wildcats. And as soon as that three went in, three men for the Spartans came off the bench. Yeah, Dean Minyard here at the scores table had a great game against CAK last week, Austin last Tuesday night. Cox thought about the three, kicks over to Gormley. He's got a three wide mm -hmm. open, it's short. Sampson saves they're, it, they're and they're gonna, gonna, gonna call, call foul, foul, push. Good call there by the official. If you look at the two offensive styles between the two teams early in the game, DCA is looking to be a catch or release type of team. Their time between the catching the ball and passing the ball incrementally small as they're looking for the quick offensive shot, whereas Webb seems to take their time, run set plays, and try to find a good opening. Whiteside kicks it over to Cox, gets a screen, drives inside, double team. Nice move, man, one. Off the glass, and one. What a move and basket by Austin Cox. That, that little floater at the end of the quarter seemed to get Cox going here. He has some confidence. He has a chance to put the Spartans up, or to tie it, I'm sorry, after a three-pointer was made. Again, Andy, you mentioned Singer. Cox uh, didn't play much last on Tuesday night. He was in foul trouble, but he's, he's got it going tonight. He's already has seven points. Absolutely good to see him back on track. Burton Sampson comes out of the ball game for the first time tonight. As his team all square with their rival, 18-all. DCA splits mm -hmm. the press again. Now a ooh, pass across court. Dangerous pass, but it gets to him, and it's going to be Singer to reset. Yeah, Coach Norris is looking for those types of passes. Both teams playing extremely aggressive man defense as DCA continues to move it around the perimeter and try to drive and pass to the middle. Cox plays good denial on Outlaw as he tries to go baseline. Good job nice. taking away the baseline Make by Whiteside. Here comes Justin. Webb on the break. Jenkins. A little bit too much to handle. We'll get it back to Whiteside. Over to Cox. This wasn't there. Open for three. Makes a good move. Now back to Jenkins. Spartan turning a penetrating kick offense. Looking for the open shot. Cox drives baseline. Nice pass. Oh, Gormley, foul. And he's fouled. They're going to call that shooting? Yeah, they're going to give him two shots. Two shots upcoming for Kevin Gormley. And that's number 12, Clay Hurdle. Their leading scorer tonight with seven points. He picks up his second foul. Going to wonder if the DCA coach is going to try to conserve There's his shooter. And DCA going to take a timeout here quickly. We, we will take one as well. With 4.55 to go in the opening half. Webb and DCA all squared 18. Go see the web on the web, the WOW Network. You're listening to Webb on the Web, the WOW Network. <laughs> 
So welcome back, Spartan fans, to the Lee Athletic Center. It's Kevin Gormley attempts mm. a chance to put the Spartans ahead by two. Coach Misses Norris the leaving end. the same five on the floor as they saw after the first, after the last timeout taken by DCA. And Gormley's second free throw hits the front rim and bounces in to give the Spartans a one-point advantage, 19-18. In, now into a press, not a trap. It's Dean Minyard splitting two men, and they take that advantage pass. of it. Joy with it. He'll drive baseline, kick out to Tarleton. Now to Joy. Over to Singer. Outlaw and Joy again playing that perimeter game as they have done here early in this first half. It's the Webb student section starting a Bilbo Baggins chance, a reference to the new released movie, The Hobbit. Joy. Outlaw with it. And Singer. Nothing doing for this DCA no. team. As far as they're slowing down DCA, it looks like they're trying to kind of be a little more fast tempo, and it's not working for them tonight. Singer. It's been a long possession. It has. DCA looks a little bewildered now at the moment. Can't get anything going. Now Joy nice takes going into the Ooh, basket. Man, yeah. And a blocking foul against Dean Minyard. It was a block. That was a good call. Great great penetration there by Joy. Minyard had the right idea in mind, just a step too late. Yeah, we were talking about uh, against CAK, Spartans were in foul trouble, but so far in three with 348 left in the, here in the second quarter, Spartans only have two team fouls. At the line is Joy, and he'll make the first free throw to tie this game at 19 and with a chance to take a one-point lead. Burton will check back in here for many yards as Neighbors also comes on for Gormley. So here comes Joy's second free throw. Hits them both, two points for the Wildcats and now they have the lead. 20 to 19, 347 to go. Opening half, quick pass. Burton's got a huge height advantage right now. Look, look at this. Number 30 is guarding him. I mean, that guy is nowhere close to Burton. He's not even over six feet. They got, oh, uh, they switched here. Yeah, looks like DCA was thinking the same thing as you. But now he's guarding Justin. Justin obviously has the height advantage. Let's, let's see what Justin can do here. Justin gets Absolutely. the screen from Sampson to Neighbors. And they're going to kick it out to Burton. Sampson who's open for three. Drives baseline. Puts nice. It up, oh. Misses. Tipped around. Nice rebound by Justin. by Justin Jenkins. A so new far, set for the Spartans' offense. So far, number 30, John Charlton for DCA, despite the height advantage. They're going to try to get a. They're going to try to clear everybody out and give Justin a move, no, or they'll pass it. Looks like it is. He's doing a pretty well, good job tonight of bodying up Burton and Justin and refusing the down low pass. Samson on the right and side. Justin's going to post up. Posting up is Jenkins. Working gives it to Cox. Thinks about the three. Thinks better of it. Kicks Lock. out the neighbors. And, and they're going to charge. Ooh. Wow. Huh. I didn't, I didn't see anyone. Call on AC. I didn't see. I kind of turned my head up when uh, AC threw the ball, but obviously the refs yeah. thought there was enough for a charge. So a charge will be assessed to Austin Cox, his second foul of the evening. 2.40 to go, and DCA now with the basketball and a chance to extend their lead. Joy, pass tipped around and controlled. Given back to Joshua Joy to reset the offense. Mm. Baseline jumper by Charles, nice and rebound. he missed it. And Webb now going to push over to Jenkins. Justin Jenkins goes up. Nice and shot scores. by Justin. Good looking off balance shot there by Jenkins. Good composure to get rebalance in midair and hit it. A back and forth oh, ball that's game. A kick. Right now has the Spartans ahead 21 20 as we approach the two minute mark to go in the half. No question about that kick there. Yeah. <laughs> And so much of running both these teams' offense is not telegraphing your passes. If you, sh if you show with your eyes where you want to pass the ball, the defense is going to read that, and more than likely they're going to get to it and get a fast-break turnover opportunity. You have to remain disciplined and force yourself to look off in the other direction. Here come the Wildcats. Nice trap. Trapped again at half court. They're, they're going to call, call a reach. foul. Ooh. God. 
I thought he uh, had at least a little bit part of the ball and mm -hmm. maybe would get a jump ball call, but they're going to call it on. They're going to call it on Justin. And, man, that's a tough call. Coach well, Norris is looking for absolutely. that kind of pressure in the corner. And, Did exactly um, what you're supposed to do on that type of press. Just unfortunate with the foul on DCA. Yeah, he's going to. He's going to express his displeasure with the official there. Yeah. I would too. That didn't look like a foul. Oh, loose ball. Loose ball controlled Another by trap. the Wildcats again. And they'll dump it off and reset with Joy with 1.45 to go. Working on neighbors. Dumps it to Outwall. Guarded tightly by Jenkins. Pulls up. A Ooh. hand in his face. Yeah, that's just a good shot. AC had, was playing pretty good defense there. Had a hand in his face and able to convert. It's just a good oh. offensive play right there. Cox. He's guarded by Joy. Nice crossover. And gets it across the timeline. 124 to go. Web down by one. Justin Jenkins for That's three. Open. Catch. That's deep, and he got it. Justin Jenkins from NBA range makes it 24 to 22. That was a pretty shot there, Andrew. And that was a big shot with, a, with only over a minute left to go in this half to put the Spartans up by two. DCA finds wide an open, open man underneath the basket. He missed the layup. That's number 32, Jordan Holloway. Burton sound in court, wide open. Samson. Easy shot here. Goes in for the dunk, dunk. and he drills it. He dunks it. And the student section is exploding. What a great play by Samson. Burton Samson slams it with two hands to put the Spartans up by four. Crowd's going crazy. Let's see if we can get a turnover here. Joy to Outlaw. Drives baseline and a charging yeah. foul. Look at this. There we go. Samson's dunk spurring all kinds of momentum on the defense in front for the Spartans. 42 and a half seconds here left in the half. Spartans have a chance to Increase their lead to six or maybe even seven. As Charlton checks back in for Holiday. Looks like DCA is going to go with a more defensive front. 26-22, 40 seconds to go, and Webb has the ball. Webb can try to open up their lead. They have, it's been a tight game back and forth all night from the very beginning, and Webb can try to make a late half stand and go into the locker room with the lead. Troy Whiteside pulls nice up. Nice shot. Ooh, in and out down. and a rebound by Ewan. Look good as DCA is running the floor, but Jenkins goes back to the cover. 15 seconds. Possibly a last shot opportunity for the Wildcats. It's going to be. I see. Ooh. Oh. Almost steps across, but the ball was tipped. Five, four. Troy with three seconds trying to get something done. Two drives on Sampson. Shot is nope. blocked. Great defense. Great defense on that entire off, possession. Off the backboard. So Webb holds after a huge dunk by Burton Sampson. He will take his men into the locker room with a four-point advantage over the DCA Wildcats. The score at the break. Webb 26, DCA 22. When we come back, Maya Patel will have an interview with the Sampson family on their extremely uh, awesome accomplishment of their son, Burton Sampson, passing the 1,000 club. At the half, Webb 26, DCA 22. You're listening to Webb on the Web, the Wild Network.
different egg now nah, with a little sprinkle of vanilla even though it's kind of cold and pulling out a chin chill and be the hippie back until I say you're hot up in the winter I said cool you know what we're gonna do let's collaborate and make the holiday a little bigger before we work I gotta get this all see the other family members and drop get soft and I'm headed to the studio cause ain't nothing stopping how you know we about to turn it on the road and get it popping now people everywhere and all my Twitter followers Merry Christmas work to the party how to Welcome back to at the half, folks, as the Webb Spartans lead the DCA Wildcats 22 to 6. I am now joined by Burton Sampson's father, Mr. Sampson. How are you tonight? I'm good, sir. How are you? Pretty good, you know. Burton tonight with recognized before the game for scoring over a thousand points here uh, in a Spartan uniform. How's it how's it feel to be his father? Oh, it feels great. I'm very proud of Burton and the way he's worked at the game. So how long has Burton been in the sport of basketball? Uh, 
he started playing competitively when he was six. He played a little bit in the driveway before that. <laughs> so a really long time. We know that Burton's put a lot of hard work and effort into his playing. And just watching him grow over the years through middle school and uh, now into high school as a senior leading, a, leading the men in green, How just what's it been like watching him? Oh, it's been fun. I'm going to miss it next year, but looking forward to the rest of this season. It's been a lot of fun. Well, speaking of next year, does uh, has, does Burton have what, – what's he thinking about college? Oh, he's, he's thinking about college. He had not uh, thinking about Belmont a lot and been looking around up in New York a little bit. So we'll see what happens. All right. Well, you know, I've got to ask you about it. Just under two minutes left to go in the half. Burton had a wide open fast break and threw it down, had a slam dunk. Just when he did that, I know it's not the first time you've seen him do that, but just does it give you thrills when you see your kid out there just slamming it down? Yeah, his mother taught him that move. They worked on that. Just this afternoon they worked on that at home, but I'm glad he got a chance to do it. All right. And, you know, with the uh, Burton, with the uh, pregame ceremony, you know, it's just it's been awesome to watch him play for uh, just from my perspective and you know you had four kids and in, uh, in Webb and Burton being the second oldest just what's it been like watching everyone go up through Webb any memories that you have uh, a lot of good memories Webb's a good place and we're, we're very lucky to be here and don't take it for granted enjoy every minute of it well, thank you mr. Sampson and you know we're about a minute left until half Hopefully Burton continues this uh, later on in the season. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. So welcome back to the Lee Athletic Center, Spartan fans. At the half, the Spartans have a lead over the Wildcats, 26 to 22 in this first divisional uh, game. And guys, very quickly as we approach the 22nd mark until the start of the half, what what was the key in the first half? Start with you, James. Uh, the key in the first half to me is Burton Sampson. He has 12 points. Uh, he had that nice dunk at the end of the half, and he's playing great. Uh, one thing to look forward to here in this half, the Spartans have been able to get a lot of pressure on defense. Can they force that pressure in the turnovers? Let's see. They haven't really been able to do that so far tonight. Alex, what's the key? The key for DCA, or the reason why they've got 22, is that sometimes the Spartans are a little too aggressive, and their over-aggressiveness uh, ironically results in open buckets for DCA. They only have three scorers tonight, and the Spartans need to find a balance, and DCA will need to find a new answer. Joshua Joy, the point guard for the Wildcats, sets it up. And it's going to be Outlaw working on. And Outlaw Travel. travels. Tight, tight defense and good health defense by Troy Whiteside that time. Results in a turnover for the Wildcats. And Webb will take the basketball. Webb coming out with the same starting five at the start of the game. DCA continuing the full court press. 26-22. Handoff to Jenkins. It's over to neighbors. Burton Sampson wants that basketball. Austin Cox, guarded by the big fella, Ewan. Cox takes it to the basket, and they're going to call a blocking foul on number 22, Outlaw. That was just some good penetration by Cox there. He saw an opening, and he took it, and he got rewarded. So now Cox will get two shots. Two shots at the line for number five, the junior. Playing a good game so far tonight. Cox's first free throw is good. Very consistent from the line, one of the best on the team. A chance to extend the Spartan lead to six. Sinks it and it's 28 to 22. Webb forces a turnover and scores on the opposite end. Joshua Joy pressured by Whiteside. And White, nice, or nice, oh, Joy, a wide open jumper. That's the same time it's happened to AC now. He's got a hand in the face and the guy still makes the shot. Webb pushing it. Break. Burton Sampson wanted the pass. He wanted the alley oop. He was pointing to the basket. Yeah. Couldn't get it to him and the pass goes out of bounds. Just a little com miscommunication there between Sampson and Cox. And what you're seeing from both teams at the start of the half is both t coaches believe that the other's offense is too good to just let it walk up the floor. So they initiate the press and they're. And the other team is responding with wide open. 
That's Singer for three, and he missed it. The other team's responding with finding the openings and getting the easy points. Burton Sampson gets over to Whiteside. Open. He's open for three. That looks good. Got it. Troy Whiteside, number 14 for three. Pretty looking shot right there. First points of the night for Whiteside. Webb into the press. Getting it over his outwall. Back to Singer. And now to Joy to reset the offense for the Wildcats. Spartans open the half on a 5-0 run. And actually, if you go into the second half, they're on a 9-0 run. Very impressive. Driving to the basket is outlaw, and they're going to call a foul on number 14, Troy Whiteside, after making the three, commits the silly foul on the other end. It's on the floor. And so DCA will throw it in from under their own basket. Yeah, you, you got to always watch outlaw in these types of plays. Watch for a little slip and a quick pop from him. Singer kicks it over to Joy. Working on wide side. They're going to get it into you and goes up over Samson. Good D Samson. by Samson. Missed it in a great rebound. Great D, by Troy, great D by Troy preventing the penetration. Good body up by Samson. And a good pass to Cox who kicks good it out outlet. to Neighbors who's open for three. Again for three. The Spartans on fire from behind the arc. Another three will fall. 34-24. Webb in front. Pass cross court to Joy. Trap. And double team. A trap. Inside to Ewan. There's the turnover, turnover we've been looking for. Troy splits Wide it. Wide open. Up oh. ahead to Cox, and it's a bad pass intercepted by number 24, Jake Just Singer. a little short. Just need a little more on that pass. And Hurdle fouled. And that foul's going to go and against Brandon Davis. the Clay Davis. Tucker chance have begun. <laughs> the former Webb Spartan in attendance tonight. When this team is hot from beyond the three-point line, it's – very difficult to stop them as they open up their lead to 10 points here to start the second half. Largest lead we've seen tonight. Large lead for any side, Alex. Great point. Three on He's the way open. from Singer's no good. Rimmed out. And an offensive mm. rebound by the big fella, D. Hewitt. First points for the Wildcats in a while. Good job by Hewitt get establishing his body position and finishing. Webb has a four on five situation. Burton had Justin open in the corner. Goes up, double teamed, and puts it in. Number 15, Burton Sampson. Burton Sampson adding to a scoring total within the basket, 36-26. Yeah, it's not every day you find a center who's that, who's that shifty with the ball. And a nice, nice baseline shot. jumper off the glass from Singer. Singer. With that, that is only the fourth Wildcat to score tonight. Jake Singer puts it in for two. Cut it to an eight-point game. Neighbors controlling it across the court. Gets a screen from Sampson over to Jenkins. To Whiteside. Sampson posting up underneath and the foul is going to go against yep. number 24. Jake Singer, the ref, was looking right at him and he had his arm around him. Again, you see that height advantage. Uh, the guy just couldn't really guard Burton. Great technique by Sampson, hooking the defender's leg with his own leg to establish position and forcing the foul. Jenkins throws it in underneath. Gives it to Sampson. To Cox, who's open Wide for three. Wide open. Got it, another three will fall for the men in green. And they are raining tonight as 33 Willoughby and four Gormley are gonna check back into the game. And I'm out DCA. The Wildcats take a time. Looks like they're gonna try it. This coach has to talk to him about their defense. They've given up way too many points so far. They've given up 13 points here and we haven't even played four minutes in this third quarter. What a, a little point of interest. The Spartans have only been able to score 13 points in the first quarter and second quarter. So. Um, they scored 13 points in each quarter, so obviously the Spartans are on a scoring run here so far in the second half. Agreed. What a tale of two cities as to start the game. The Spartans giving up some of the easy points and not capitalizing when they, when they had the offensive possessions. And to come out in the second half and be hitting these perimeter shots, playing great body up defense, drawing the fouls, hitting the free throws. I don't think there's a complaint Coach Norris could have for his team in that hole. Being on the road here, the last thing you want to do is be down 11 nothing. That's exactly oh, where yeah. DCA is. Absolutely. you got to take it like that. You can't let anything get in your mind with the Wildcats. Getting the basketball. Webb backs off the press here on the inbounds. Not going to allow an easy point. Check into the game for the Spartans. Let's watch Gormley. this matchup down low between Willoughby and Ewan. Outlaw. Push on Samson. Oh, no. They're going to call Ewan. offensive. They're going to call Ewan there for the grab as he went down and pulled Willoughby with him. 
threw his elbow three around. Three three-pointers here so far in the third quarter. Great stuff from the men in green from behind the arc. Hopefully that can continue. Webb can inbound. On the opposite end of the floor, and Cox going to take it up for the Spartans. You know, what I've noticed from the Spartan offense this year is that there is really no true point guard, which makes them even more threatening. Cox Ooh. drives baseline, and a nice move off the glass, can't get it to go. Beautiful crossover, though. It's going to be DCA with the ball. Joy good, oh, good lost defense. it, will be it's got Samson. It. No, he's going to slow down. Ooh. Almost a steal. Fight for the ball. It's less touched by DC, I think. Yep, that's going to be web basketball. A fight for it. Liam Willoughby just jumped, just kind of dumped it off to Samson. Or, uh, excuse me, to Jenkins. He couldn't get anything do going. Yeah, he would want that pass back for sure. Good play by him afterwards, though, to maintain Spartan Absolutely. possession. He hustled. Austin Cox almost loses the ball. Gives it over to Justin Jenkins. He gets a screen from Wilby. Drives into the short corner, puts up a oh. runner in and out. No good. good looking shot too. Oh. Coach Norris yelling at his players to run back on defense. And he's going to sub somebody out here. Webb now on to, to the defensive end where they have been successful so far tonight. And that very aggressive man. Joy with it. For DCA with only 2.57 to go in this third quarter. They have got to get something going if they want to have a chance here in the fourth. A little stagnant Three. here for DCA, and it's going to be 12. That's, uh, excuse me, that's hurdle. Mm, yeah. And a foul mm, on Justin. That's Jenkins. ticky tack. That's, yeah, that's that a is. close call. I mean, Justice is playing really good defense there. And, Unfortunately, gets called. Good aggressive out. play. Sometimes it don't go your way. You, it doesn't mean you need to dim down to the intensity, though. That'll be Justin's second foul tonight. As team fourth. I'm sorry, team third. As Coach Norris urging his defense to communicate with one another, he does not want to give up an easy two from miscommunication. DCA with the ball after a silly foul by the Spartans. Joy left open for three. He'll take it. He'll miss it. And a rebound by Brandon Neighbors and a good rebound. Outlaw fighting. But he will fight him off. Over Wide to the corner to Burton. Samson. He's open for three. Takes it. Oh, just a little bit much. much. Oh. Jenkins saves. Good but hustle. Try by Justin there to get, try to get to the loose balls. Just a little too far out of his reach. As you saw down there on the defensive side for the Spartans, a little confusion from Neighbors and Jenkins as both of them went with the screener and left Joy wide open for a three. That's, that's an error you can't make if you want to win. Bad pass. Commits. Had, it, it committed Hurdle to go for it. Had to reach back behind him and in the process stepped out of bounds. And a turnover to the Spartans. So turnovers, turnovers, and fouls are hurting this DCA team. As Dean Mignard checks back in for Justin Jenkins. Yeah, Jenkins going to get a blow here. Being congratulated by his teammates on that nice hustle play he had a moment ago. Cox to Willby out front. Top of the circle. Bounce pass back to Cox. Gets a double screen over to Neighbors. Inside to nice Burton Samson. Pass. Somebody's open, he's getting double teamed, it doesn't matter, he splits him. <laughs> what a great play, created his own space and he finished. Yeah, an even better pass there by Neighbors to throw it in between two guys. Outlaw, guarded by Mignard, a little bit of a mismatch, kick over to Singer, or Hurdle, excuse me. And it's Joy, resetting with 1.26 to go. In the third quarter, and a good defensive stand by Samson. Eventually, Hurdle will get the basketball, and DCA is going to have to reset. This web defense has been rock solid. They don't get tired. It's truly amazing. And it might speak to what going to the basket, out of bounds and possession hmm. to the web Spartans. And that, that tired never happens. Probably because what's happening right now. So deep into the bench of Spartans. Unlike game. the Wildcats. I yeah. mean, these guys have been out in the court a whole lot. We haven't seen many substitutions for the Wildcats. I think they have had two or three bench players that do not have the sweat shirt on. So they're playing eight guys. The Spartans are playing close to ten. As Sampson and Cox get a blow for the Spartans. It's going to be Jenkins. Tries to drive baseline. Goes up against Good three looking play. Nice the When you have players like Jenkins and Sampson who can create their own space and make their own shot, you have a good looking team. Yeah. 
And not to take away from the rest of the Spartan players, all of them extremely talented and all of them do a fantastic job in finishing and shooting. As we've seen tonight from the Spartans offensively. DCA to inbound. And they will the joy. James Joshua Joy has not had anything go his way tonight. He's made a few good jumpers, but he can't get any separation from his defender. Yeah, Troy Whiteside plays lockdown defense on his, on his opponents. We saw it again last week, and he's doing it again here tonight. 28 seconds here remaining in the third quarter. Down to 25. It's going to go to Hurdle. Hurdle dumps it off to Joy, trying to drive baseline. Good help defense goes underneath the basket to Outlaw. Mm. Driving to the basket on Gormley. An off-balance shot. Oh, that's Singer. It will be just fell down, but neighbors there to get the rebound. Webb going to get it with seven seconds. A last shot here. Five. Whiteside drives baseline. Wide open. Kick out to Gormley. Nice who's pass by Whiteside and one. Oh, oh and the charge. Oh, but you know, I was wondering play. which way that would go. Yeah, I thought he was going to get the shot. That was that's a tough call. But a great look from Whiteside to get the ball to Gormley. Gormley made an athletic Absolutely play. Absolutely great uh, athletic play by both of them. 1.8 here remains in the third quarter. Gormley Kevin not receives a round of applause as he exits. Gormley not letting this illness affect his style of play. Firing from three quarters court. Oh, almost goes oh, in good. for Hurdle. And that would have been an even more incredible shot than Austin Cox's at the end of the first quarter. But with that, it will take us to the end of the third. Webb extends their lead after eight more minutes. It's 43-28 from the Lee Athletic Center. When we come back, last quarter coverage from the Lee Athletic Center. It's Webb 43, DCA 28. You listen to Webb on the Web, the Wild Network. You're listening to Webb on the Web, the Wow Network. <laughs> Welcome back, Spartan fans. Start of the fourth quarter, Webb. 15-point advantage over DCA. The starters back on the floor for the Spartans. And Webb will get the ball to start this fourth quarter of play with a 15-point advantage and Whiteside with it. Burton Sampson makes a nice move nice. and a nice spin oh, move. Golly. He makes it look make so it. easy. Such a good-looking player. Singer. He made Singer look like a win. Uh, nice tip. Good save Manson by Burton. Saves and he oh. throws it away to Joy. You know, he's just trying to make a good athletic play. Driving to the, the basket short. is Hurdle. He'll put it in. That's just a little unfortunate. Whiteside takes it up and a push. And that foul's going to go against it. Looks like number two, Joshua Joy. And Webb now to reset the offense and neighbors. Samson top of the key. Dumps it inside. That's a nice spin move nice. by Jenkins. Double team Golly. and he puts it in. What a play by the sophomore. Oh man. The Spartans are feeling it tonight offensively. Clicking on all cylinders on the mid and green. They have a 17 point advantage, 47 to 30. Joy with seven minutes to go now. They got to get something going quick. Almost desperation time for DCA. Webb keeping the pedal down on defense. DCA looking for Ewan inside. He still can't get there. Out wall. Over to Hurdle. He's trying to work on white side. He has a little bit of a hot, uh, height advantage on Troy, but so quick and defensively sound. Can't get anything going in a reset for DCA. Good effort there by the by the white side. Tries to get the steal. Unfortunately, goes out of bounds off of white side, and DCA will maintain the basketball. Dumps it inside. Mm, nice entry pass. Tipped around, and Outlaw gets it. Now they're going to call a foul on Austin Cox yep. on the push. And that will be Cox's second, team fifth here in the second half. 
you know, Whiteside, a first-year starter, while he does, while he contributes his share of scoring, he doesn't put up the points like Samson, but not enough can be said for his style of play and the way he handles the ball and controls this Spartan offense to open up these kind of opportunities. The first free throw rattles in. Second one off the front of the rim for Outlaw. So he will make it a 16 point game, 47-31. You know, this was such a close game in the first half and the Spartans have really been able to increase their lead here so far into the second half and now fourth quarter. It's gonna be Neighbors, swings it over to Cox. Two guard front for the Web Spartans. Justin Jenkins was open, he tried to get it to him. Mm. Mm. Coach Norris is not like that call. The official here is telling him that it went off the foot. I don't know how the official on our side could see the call, but uh, I sure could, but looked like he was a little unhappy with Cox's selection there too. Looks like he was going oh. for some sort of design play. Drives and now they're gonna call a foul oh. on Troy Whiteside. Yeah. So. And Coach Norris is gonna call a full timeout. He is not happy with the way the defense is going right now. And it's and a the Spartans break, we'll take one as well. With 551 left here in the fourth quarter. The Spartans lead 47-31. You're listening to Web on the Web, the Wild Network. Hey, after a Spartan touchdown, why don't you touch down at your local shrimp dock? With locations in Bearden and Farragut, the shrimp dock is owned and operated by web parents and is the place to get your shrimp, scallops, and the only place in Knoxville to get fresh fish. So come on into the shrimp dock, tell them Boomer sent you, and enjoy the freshest seafood in town. Welcome back, Spartan fans. 47-31, 5.51 to go in this fourth quarter. DCA is going to be at the line. They're going to get two shots as Webb. Yeah, Whiteside picked up the one. foul before going into the timeout. It'll be one and one. That was Troy's second personal foul and as far as they're now into the bonus. I'm sorry, DCA is now into the bonus. And that is not what Webb wants, exactly what DCA wants. Score with the clock stopped and Hurdle goes to the line. He misses it, mm, but a rebound. rebound. Put nice back, block. blocked. Still fighting for it, and DCA will come out with a good hustle there by both Hurdle and Singer. Underneath, shot, tipped around, bounced around. Samson finally, looks like he corralled it, didn't. Cox gets it. Almost. Some, there was some definite hacking underneath, yeah. no call. Spartan. But Webb to break. Gets it over the timeline. An absolute frenzy going on on the court right now. And Webb will settle over to Cox. Calm it down here. And a reset by Troy Whiteside. He'll drive to the basket, put up a runner in the lane. They're going to wave the basket off. Uh, Call it on the floor. I don't know about that one. He was. Yeah, a little questionable. Either way, great hesitation, great drive by Whiteside. Even though he didn't count, it was an excellent finish. Webb tries to get the ball inbound and having trouble and they finally do the neighbors. Good pass there by Justin to get the ball in four or five seconds. Kevin Gormley comes to the scorer's table as they'll kick it over to Wide neighbors. open. To Cox in the corner, open for three. Oh. That one's off the front of the iron and bounces off. Now DCA with a chance. I think Coach Norris is looking for a little bit of better look there up 16. And open and three. And they just get a balls. three and it's a 13 point ball game. Jake 450. Singer. And now the time left. Coach Norris going to call timeout. He, he is. He will not be happy with that right there. Left wide open. One of the best three-point shooters on their team. That's Jake Singer. Yeah, he did not like that shot down here on the other side by Cox. He, you know, up 16 points. He wants to get a little bit better look at the at the basket now and, and kill a little bit of clock here. I mean, there's Absolutely. 4:47 left. DCA is only down 13 points. Plenty of time left here for the Wildcats. And with DCA in the bonus. Yeah. Oh yeah, they can score with the clock. With the clock off, Spartans are gonna, it's going to be important for the Spartans not to foul going down the stretch. Uh, not because anybody's really in foul trouble. Nobody has more than two fouls, but you just don't want them getting those easy points from the charity strike. 
Absolutely. DCA can put a few more in and get on a little run here. We might be looking at a heck of a finish with the three-point capabilities of guys like Singer, Outlaw, and Hurdle. Webb underneath their opposite basket. Whiteside back into the game, and he'll take Joy across midcourt to Justin Jenkins. And Webb will reset with Austin Cox. There's a screen, double team. Sampson slips, couldn't nice get it. Nice pass. And now Webb, James, is that what you said? If it's not a wide open three, no reason to take it. No reason, and just kill some clock here. There's no shot clock in high school basketball. Yeah. Austin Cox looking for something. He'll drive inside, dump off to Jenkins. Nice pass. And he'll oh, kick it out. Call a push? No, he stepped on the line. Looks like he stepped on the base. Yep. Even, he, even though it's a turn. Oh, there, 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 oh, okay. there it is. Okay, I thought he got pushed a little bit. Joshua Joy picks up the foul. That's great. Spartans need to eat up as much clock as they can. Worst thing, thing they could do here is pick up their dribble and get double teamed. Yeah, and Coach Norson called another timeout here. He did not like the inbounds play that was being set up, and he's going to talk to his guys. and not want to risk a five-second turnover. And quickly here in the fourth quarter, we've called three timeouts, and uh, it's going to be another 30-second one. But DCA is hanging around. It, it'd be tough to keep your composure together on the road. Webb draws a crowd out. Sampson puts a dunk in. And, I mean, I, I thought this game was – Going to go in Webb's favor with the momentum coming into the second half, but I was dead wrong. DCA. DCA after, making well, actually, it after a third quarter. Yeah, after the third Spartans. quarter. I mean, halftime, Spartans were only leading yeah. by four, and they went on a big run and was that really able to limit DCA. DCA has only scored 10 points here in the second half, and that's been a huge difference so far. But uh, oh, yeah. they've, they've cut it down to 13, and so they're still yeah, you have very to, in this ball game. You have to wonder what Norris told his team at halftime that – cause this rapid sort of change in the style of the game. Whatever you did, it worked. I'm sorry, I'm going to say very much in this ballgame. <laughs> DCA fans trying to get their boys ready to go. Quick entry nice pass to Sampson. Kick out to Cox. He's open for three. Thinks better of it. Out to Whiteside. Nice he pump again. fake. Pump fake. Jenkins. And Webb going to yeah, waste some of that You're clock. seeing these guys he hesitate from three. They, Coach Norris has told them that. Take the nice high percentage shots. Yeah, they're doing a great job of spreading the ball around, eating up some clock. They're going to call a foul, and Cox is going to get to go to the line. We're one foul short. Oh, no, no. Yep, we're just into the bonus here for the Spartans. Webb enters the one and one. Tough for DCA. Every foul now, Webb's at the line. Mm -hmm. mm, just rims out. Rare miss from Cox. And a very, not, not, a, not at the right miss at the right time, giving DCA a chance here. Joy drives to the basket, puts up Good a shot. And line. one. And one and Samson. a chance to cut it to ten. Yep. That's Good looking play. DCA will not quit. Joshua Joy, as we we mentioned, some, some of the things in tonight's game have not gone his way, but he has that quick speed, Alex, and he can – explode to the basket. Absolutely. The scoreboard doesn't reflect his play. That was his 11th point, but he's done a very good job tonight controlling this DCA offense. Yeah, Make it 12. Foul was called on point guard Troy Whiteside. He picks up his third personal, but Coach Norris liking to keep in the ball game with only 3.30 left here in the, in the ball game. Cox pushes it up the court now. DCA a little bit confused. Webb breaks the press, and now going to reset. Jenkins. He's going to drive towards the baseline. Dump nice. Off Great looking side. play. Everything about that was absolutely terrific. Jenkins saw, that play, Jenkins saw that play develop, and he took advantage of it. Drives inside, and a floater yeah. is good from Hurdle. Talk tried to set up and take the charge, but a good job by the DCA player to set up and take the easy layup. This game is over by no means. The Spartans, they have to eat up some clock, but they also have to capitalize on their possession. foul, and that's going to be called up. They're going to say step oh, down. Sorry, step down of bounds. I'm sorry. That's not going to help. Yeah, that's a dumb offensive turnover. Something Coach Norris is not looking for here. It's only a 10-point lead. 10-point advantage. And, and then he steps on the line. Yeah, he was tippy-toeing the boundary. Looked to be a little bit of contact. Spartans get the... Spartans get the benefit of the doubt and they'll recapture possession. And that's that's a big turnover for DCA. 
with only 2.40 to go, down by 10. A basket there would have been huge. Cox inside to Sampson. Sampson gets the ball taken away from him by Hurdle. Now DCA on the break. Hurdle drives on Sampson, but the runner in the lane, no good, but a blocking foul against Burton Sampson. And just like that, DCA going to have a chance to score and make this an eight-point ball game. DCA has slowly but surely worked themselves back to within striking distance as two made free throws here could cut the Spartan lead to eight. So here come the free throws for Hurdle. Mm. Have to hit your free throws down the stretch. He's saying, Coach Norris yelling at him to box out. This is a big... Big free throw if it misses. It does. Who's going to get it? Webb will. Webb will outlaw fighting with Cox. Ooh. And a good move by Troy Whiteside. Now Webb on the break. Dumps it off to Burton. Oh. Sampson drives. Oh, nice move. That couldn't have been a nicer fast break for the Spartans if they had, drew, if they had drawn it up. And, it, and now that pass is going to go out of bounds. Oh. oh, outlaw saves it. Good save. Jumps into the crowd and comes back into play. 12-point game with two minutes to go, 39-51. Jump shot off the glass, no good. Fighting for it is Sampson. This is a time where rebounds are critical. You can't give up second chance points. Getting pretty physical down there on the court, and finally a foul called against number 24, Jake Singer. One and one for Justin Jenkins, big free throws upcoming. 157 to go. Jenkins. The front end, he misses it. Just off the rim. On both one and one situations, Webb has gone 0 for 2 from the strike. Driving in is Joshua Good Joy. Good rebound by Cox. And a technical oh, technical foul. foul. On the, it looks like on the coaches there. Yeah, it yep. just lost his temper a little bit. I don't know what he said. We're a little, we're on the other side of the scores table here, but obviously he said something. And uh, now Burton's gonna get two shots. Yeah, you know when you're a player, nothing's more demoralizing than to be out there trying to spark a comeback than to give up some more than likely easy points off your coach losing his temper. Absolutely. Especially this DCA team worked their way to back within ten points. Now we're at 13 so and 14, and Webb will get the ball. Yeah, exactly. Spartan scored two points, have a chance to score another two right here, and really put DCA out of the ball game with 147. Compo remaining. Composure is such a big part of involved in the game of basketball. You just have to maintain it regardless of the situation. Austin Cox now with the ball with 130 to go. A basket here would pretty much put the nail in the coffin. Austin Cox working on the big fella Ewan. Yeah, make sure you get a high percentage look here through the Spartans offense. Samson, Ooh. a nice move foul. to the basket. A nice. good pass to Troy Whiteside and lays it in. Tricky nope. ball handling from Samson. Great look, great finish. Nothing more high percentage than an easy layup. <laughs> and a foul by Troy Whiteside. You hear Coach Norris yell, why? There was no need. Yeah, and that's 116. That's Troy's fourth. Fourth personal foul against Troy Whiteside. And at the stripe. Looks like Gordon is going to come up here and get yeah. Whiteside. Just, I mean, I don't think overtime is going to be a possibility here, but just in case, you want to have Whiteside available. And it's going to be 24 Singer at the line. And, you know, it's good to have these kind of support players. For neighbors, I'm sorry. Oh, either way, it's good to have these kind of support players for the Spartans who can come in during the critical last minutes of the game, like Gormley, Willoughby, and Minyard, and finish off. The free throw is good from Singer. Two of two from the line, 55-41. Jenkins, working on Singer now, tries to get it across the timeline, and he does. Justin Jenkins now to reset. We're gonna take under one minute to go here. White side in the corner. Swings oh. across court to Justin Jenkins. And Webb now is gonna reset. It's under a minute. As all five Spartans are outside the three-point line. Kevin Gormley underneath kicks to Troy right side and a reset for the Spartans. Now just wasting the clock here. Gormley drives inside, spins out of that, and the perimeter game has begun. A little North Carolina offense right here. 35 seconds to go. And Samson drives to the basket, puts it up no good, but the foul is going to be 
on the floor. Samson will have a chance to add two more points to his already impressive total. Yeah, at this point, it would take a pretty miraculous change of events for DCA to come back. As I say that, number 23, Cole Sams, 20, Frank Romano, and 10, Chris Zion check into the game. Three very, Sams and Romano, two talented freshmen, and Zion, excuse me, sophomores, as Chris Zion, a freshman, getting some varsity minutes. Good for all three of them. Absolutely the future of Webb on the floor right now. And the free throw from Samson is good. He'll come out of the game for number 10, Chris Zion, with 31 seconds. And this game is 31 seconds from over. No overtime will be played here tonight. Samson getting a well-deserved round of applause as him, Cox, and Jenkins all had tremendous games tonight, both offensively and defensively. The freshman, Zion, an outlaw. A deep three. Mm. No Rebound good. by Sams. Rebound by Cole Sams. Way to keep his pivot foot. He got a little off balance there, but nice play by the big guy. Cole Sams, a crowd favorite here. Romano. Cole's get, Cole's moving around out there. I played football with Cole, and uh, not really the fastest guy, but he's getting out there on the court tonight. He is. Uh, he's looking good. Four seconds to go. Two and one. That will be the final. Fantastic performance across the board for all the Spartans tonight. A big win for Webb at home. The final, Webb 56. DCA 41. We're going to take a quick commercial break and be back with the Shrimp Dot Post Game Show. You're listening to Web on the Web, the WOW Network. Hey, after a Spartan touchdown, why don't you touch down at your local Shrimp Dock? With locations in Bearden and Farragut, the Shrimp Dock is owned and operated by Web Parents and is the place to get your shrimp, scallops, and the only place in Knoxville to get fresh fish. So come on into the Shrimp Dock. Tell them Boomer sent you, and enjoy the freshest seafood in town. Welcome back, Spartan fans. My partners, Alex Lansing and James Moon, join me here. And Alex, big win for the Spartans tonight on all aspects of the game, especially in the defensive department, holding... DCA to 41 points. Absolutely, a critical division win for these Spartans. Uh, DCA knocked the Spartans out of the playoffs last year and won the division last year. So it says a lot for the Spartans, a relatively young team to come out here and be able to hold their own and do what they did defensively and offensively in terms of scoring and defending. James, a big night for senior Burton Sampson, honored before the game for passing 1,000 points. He went well over that tonight. Yeah, he didn't slow down the night. He put up 23 points. Had that nice dunk down yeah. here, which is always a crowd favorite. You do not see that very often in high school basketball games. And uh, just an overall good performance tonight by the senior. Webb, solid on all aspects. They will take a little hiatus with exam week coming up Monday through Friday. But that it's Friday Catholic night, week. it's Catholic. And uh, as soon as the bell rings on Friday after the exam, all eyes will be turned to uh, that Catholic game. The game will be at Catholic. On the 20, let's see, that'd be the 21st? Yes, 21st. 21st of the December. day the world's supposed to end, apparently. <laughs> well, let's or hope so it does. Yeah, we'll go out with game. a bang. That's right. So Webb wins tonight, 56-41. Our next broadcast will be at Catholic against the Irish. It's going to be a fun ball game. We hope you can join us for all of our uh, sponsors, the Shrimp Dock, uh, Duo Fast, our tech crew, Alex Lansing, James Moon. I'm Andrew Robinson. And until next time, dream of Spartan victory. Good night.